So what are we doing right now? We're Go. doing still it. Still it, Jesse from New Zealand. Sit this magnificent bastard. This has been like six months in the making. He well, that's the cue, man. Yeah. He he made these whiskeys that he sent us. Mm -hmm. We had not tried them. New Zealand, where it's legal to do home distilling. And we've known Still it a long time. His channel yeah, he's one of the earliest uh, followers on The Vault yeah. episodes. He's, he has a channel about um, home distilling, which in New Zealand it's not illegal. In the States, just like, still illegal, just, yeah. just, just I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, you, wanna, you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, we got a... Uh, I have heard a legend. Ah. Of two companions that yeah. sample the water of life immune to the effects of fuckery and pretension. <laughs> well, there's a lot. Whose lack of snobbery is bested only by their knowledge of and love of shenanigans and whiskey. Tell me, have I found the fabled pair that will evaluate my whiskey honestly and fairly? Yeah, look, man. Two lines. Right, Wait for it. Right, two lines. Right. Okay, now that Rex's ego has been stroked a little. <laughs> <laughs> it would really be an honor if you guys would give an honest opinion on the spirits. I'm not looking for back rubs. Oh. I'm looking for a calibration of my attempts to assess my own product and assist in chasing the craft. Good, because as much as I, you know, get to know people in relationships, like still it's been with us forever, he's a nice guy. Hell, still it's a mod in our Whiskey Tribe Reddit. Mm -hmm. The subreddit for Whiskey Tribe. Yeah, he's Good. one of our people. Yeah, reddit.com. So we are not going to pull any punches, Jesse. No, no, no. Like... If you need a little challenge in your day, right. taste everything before opening the envelope to find out what the bottles are. Okay. That's why I have them lined up, sure, right? Sure, yeah. uh, if you accept the challenge, it's probably worth pouring two flights, one with the B bottles yeah. and one with the S bottles. Okay. P.S. All samples are between 40% and 60%. Yes. Some are fairly mellow. A few may try to wear your skin. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you for saying this, still because... Yeah. Uh, as much as I like you, I'm going to give the honest opinions here. Okay, we're going to and start. My understanding, as you pour, mm -hmm. right? My understanding is still it hasn't been doing this for years and years and years. So I'm thinking, my assumption is I'm going to go into this and there's just going to be like a lot of young, new stuff. You're so nervous, Daniel. You're so nervous. So, I'm all nerves. Sorry, Jesse. There's going to be like, like a lot of young whiskey stuff going on. A lot of we're going to find out. We're going to start with B. That is... B one. This is this is known as new make, and then B two. Got, got a little bit of a little bit of color. B three. A little darker. A little bit more color. And B four. That looks like it's lighter, actually. It looks uh, actually it looks filtered. Okay. But it just could be higher proof. Okay. Oh, this is nice. That is. It doesn't taste like it's a high proof. It's actually rounded off and pretty chill, sweet. It's got a really interesting note that's from beginning to end. It's like a, a fruity, almost a nutty, mostly fruity. Oh yeah! Wait, there's something there though. Very, very clingy, it's still with me. On the back end of this, there's this uh, heavy oil roundness mm -hmm. that turns into a certain flavor. What is this That's flavor? right on the back of my Did mind and I can't pinpoint this is, it. This is, is it like a pomegranate? I've never had a pomegranate. You've never had a pomegranate? No, What's um, wrong with it? Not pomegranate. But it is... Is this... In a sweet, fruity... Is this an... This could be an infusion. Is this an infusion? Because no. there is a note in here that is very fruity. i got to figure out what the what fruit it is. But it's a uh, very distinct, not typical whiskey fruitiness that's in that. No, and it's it is melon-like in me its fruitness. Okay, I would say... Melon's getting there. The closest I'm thinking is like a pomegranate. Honeydew. Honeydew is what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Honeydew melon. But it's got these more clingy, it's like honeydew melon with black licorice. You know what that's not? Hmm. Sharp and bitey and spiky. It's really not. Yeah. It's pretty damn smooth. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, it starts, now I'm just going to give the journey of the... No. Wait. There is... The journey of the taste is... Oh! I know what it is. Oh. It's reminding me of that rounded sugar note you get when your sugary cereal is left behind in the milk. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And you're done with the cereal now because there's no crunch texture. Yeah. And so you drink the milk and the milk has this round, clingy feeling. They made the sugar a little bit savory. But there's this slightly melony sugar yeah. note in the middle of it. I Is there a nuttiness that jumps out in the first few seconds for you? 
Not really. For me. But both, the thing is, what times. happens in the second half of this overcomes whatever started. Almost a walnut, not quite a walnut. Okay, we're going to move to the in next the one. the first couple of seconds, and then it goes into like the Oh, little, I like the nose on this. The melon vibe. Take your time. Oh, it's the same thing. They just aged it a little bit? It's just got a little bit of caramel added. So it hasn't made any dramatic changes. The nose is significantly better. Yeah, a little caramel. Nose is totally different and better, but the taste is 80% the same with a little caramel added. I say they just aged it a little bit because I'm so used to talking about distilleries. Yeah, I'm so used to talking about distilleries. Yeah. Jesse and all of his staff. <laughs> Speaking of, I think he had like a kid recently, yeah, like, a year, like a year ago or something. So so recently. Yeah. The kid probably just graduated <laughs> high school. Oh, I like where this is going. This gets better on the nose every time. The nose just gets more rich and vibrant. I it's still slightly shiny, but it's. I do like what you're still on. You're going to the third. I'm still on the second. I do like what that little bit of age did to this. But oh, it's back. Okay. That weird melon you note that was just eh, was clinging oh, to the end of everything. This is starting to get towards... It what? got... It went away. This is starting to get towards whiskey whiskey. Yeah, and this is... That's my favorite one so far. That one is... Um, well, what is that? That's it's just, just a bourbon it's or a something. young bourbon, man. I don't even know if it's young. It's just bourbon. No, no, no. See, what, what I'm equating to young is it's not deep, heavy, rich notes. Yeah, so you're definitely it, getting some. If it's cherry, a bourbon flavor, so, it stayed out of the barrel long enough that there's not a lot of barrel char right. or barrel spice wood notes. This is more just rich caramel. All of the, all of these went away. Mm, yeah, no, those are gone. So, are, no, is this a progression of the I, same I'm, thing? I'm assuming. All right, we'll see. But if it is, it's that's a massive change. Different animal. Different animal. Yeah, I could drink that all day. That's a great one. Well, it's more just like classic bourbon. I, yes. It's, it's more like classic bourbon, and I would think on the range of, uh, on the spectrum of bourbons, I would see these kinds of flavors coming out of like a 20 to $30 bourbon. Something yeah, like I would classic. say 20 to 30 It's, yeah, not, gonna be, like, it's not gonna be super maybe aged. Maybe 40 if the proof is high enough. But it would be based on proof, it would be based on, okay. John, that's classic. I've never had a craft distillery make yeah. something that, that's just that simply bourbon. Yeah, it's very, it's very simple, classic Ooh, bourbon. This one, Get butterscotch. Like the sweet oak. This now is back to reminding me of this one a little bit. Did you pour these in order? Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. Because after the first two. Yeah. This is the that. It's got that round, Whoa. but now that ending round thing is pure Dude. hard candy. The nose on this, though. Yeah, it's pure hard candy. This is, no, this is Werther's Originals. Yeah. Pure hard candy. Is that a hard candy? Yeah. Okay. Like the caramel, mm -hmm. but also like this butteriness to it. Yeah, try it. It's that is almost tastes like a flavored you whiskey. Say, you say like it's jumping back to these. Yeah, no. it's yeah, it's On got the, all that weird ending round note, but it turned into candy instead of just sweet milk. It's that, back. That that no, vibe is back. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we're not back to one and two. Mm -hmm. Not back to one and two. Yeah, we first two, first two very you, similar. I'm gonna bet on it. I'm gonna bet this is just an older one of these. How does melon? <laughs> turn into like just butter and caramel. Because all of the butterscotch notes dominated, but you kept the round feeling. I'm, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna look. <laughs> all right, well, can we look? This is, we did all the B's. Is that, can we look now? Oh, it's flavored, that's why. Mm. It's the same thing, but with flavor. I told you, it's these, but with a little fl uh, stuff steeped in it. What's, what's the flavor? This is reminding me of TX Blended a little. <laughs> Um, yeah, all the vanilla and coffee beans. The TSY. Yeah, I wouldn't get the coffee beans, but I am getting the vanilla. The vanilla of the almost, almost. You're saying dessert, almost like an ice cream. A vanilla yeah. Ice oh yeah, cream. yeah. So the so first one. Whenever you say flavored, what? Is, how? How does flavoring actually get into a whiskey? Is it a vial of extract? Well, no, no. You can flavor it. That's not what he's doing. He's okay. just steeping these things in the spirit, like a tea bag, just leaving it in there. So putting like a vanilla tea in, like. What is the actual? Vanilla and coffee beans. Okay, so actual vanilla. Pieces of vanilla and coffee beans. Oh, just sitting in the spirit. So like an infusion. Yeah. Oh, cool. So the first one is just straight up Jesse's sour mash. Yeah. Simple sour mash. Mm -hmm. Uncle Jesse. Uh, a different one, evidently. Uh, this is sugar shine with corn for flavor for the taste. So it's a sugar wash. This one? No, the this all of these three okay. are sugar wash 
but with corn added for flavor purposes. Right. That's what it tastes like coming off the still. This one is a blend of the first five generations, actually six, six different aging jars in there. Okay. Mixed together. Right. It's three to six months old, depending on the jar he pulled. Right. It's 46%. Uh, three. Doesn't taste 46. Three. <laughs> Surprise! It's Maker's Mark. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, four. Hold on. Did I? I said like a twenty to thirty dollar bourbon. Yeah, it's about right. On well, now it's classic. Expensive, but is it more expensive? Yeah, now? it's thirty to fifty. No. On that. Yeah, depending on the what? store. All right. Um, classic. <laughs> so <laughs> he decided to see if he could force complexity by adding things to it to sure. pretend like it's complex. Sure. And you did totally alter the flavor. It's just dessert now. But it is dessert so whiskey. You really want to you're really going to want that just overwhelmingly sweet um Werther's original caramel vanilla uh not something that's going to be like you know, just classic whiskey flavors mm -hmm. necessarily. But there's a dude, there's a tremendous okay. market for that. TX Blended is Here's what we're doing for so, the for by the, the way, Psalms. You nailed the fourth one. I nailed the third one. Twenty to thirty. The I price was the one point. who said that about the the third one. I said this is a totally different thing. I said classic bourbon, twenty to thirty dollars. Let that you were wrong about that. No. Let the I'm crowd. Not. Let the crowd decide. <laughs> let the tribe <laughs> vote on who was right on which one of these. Because democracy never <laughs> never has go gone sideways. wrong. Right. I'm gonna keep those. Jesse, and so what I'm gonna do is so we got I'm gonna keep those around for the song classes. Now we're on to the S grouping. Yeah. Okay. S1. Ooh. Weird. This is musty. Yeah. Yeah, this is like wet dog musty. Yeah, it really is like sweetness right. with wet dog. Yeah. That is weird, man. That's the antique store vibe that we often get. Yeah, I don't know what that dusty, is. That's a, dusty, really old things. It's got this sweetness to it that feels almost like a like a sake, right? A thin sake. I'm still on the nose. But then surrounding it and around, all around that sweetness is this weird iodiny musty note on the taste. Dusty the must on taste. The taste. Dusty must. That's weird. I'm not sure what to do with that. It's not bad, it's just weird. Yeah, it's a sweet musty. Mm -hmm. You do not often get those notes together. Yeah. First of all, you rarely get a mustiness. But to have a sweet note in there, like a lighty, lighter, friendlier note, usually when you're getting that musty antique store kind of vibe, it has um, things with more character than just a sweetness. Now with this, I say like old, dusty antique store flavors, I don't mean that it tastes like it's been aged a really long time. No. You don't have these rich, dark, heavy, you know, No, it feels vibrant. thin. It feels thin, uh, but at the same time, just you walk into an antique store and those smells that are in the air. It's almost like a brand new store with all the brand new store smells like fresh, just made building, and then they filled it with antique antiques. furniture. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I don't, I'm, that may not be a good uh, touchstone for a lot of people. When I was growing up, my parents, <laughs> They had a booth in an antique mall, yeah. so I spent like half my summers pissing away my days in an antique mall. In an antique mall. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I got into comic books, actually. Oh, because you can collect the comic books at those well, places. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not sure anymore, but there's this one booth in particular, and he had like a stack of old comic books. You know, he and did just sit there. He was just hours. like on the bottom shelf in a cabinet somewhere. He was like, "You want a comic book? Seventy-five cents." Okay, this is um. This is interesting. Yeah, number two, what do we got? I don't know, this is, um, it's uh, smoky. Yeah? It's got the same thinness of this one, mm. but the smoke is rich and dark. So, let me see. That's like a blackberry smoke. On the nose, I'm getting a blackberry and a smoke. Yeah, I kinda like that one. For being young, and I'm assuming it's young, it's actually kind of nice. Oh yeah, it's nice. That's enjoyable, but if so, you like smoke, you have to like smoky, weird, dark whiskeys. Are you saying, like, I'm actually having a hard time finding the smoke here. Yeah. 
What smoke are you talking about? What kind of it's, smoke? Okay, so in my mind, right. there's two kinds of ways that smoke presents in a whiskey. Yeah. There's the ashy smoke, and I find that more in Lafroig and Ardbeg. And then there's the wood parts of the smoke okay. smell, right? So ash is what you smell from leftover campfires, yes. right? Or yeah. what your jacket smells like after camping. It's the leavings. But the wood smoke is what you smell when you're like, oh, someone just lit a fire in their fireplace for the first time this fall. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's the darker notes, yeah. and that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting the ashy smoke. I'm getting the darker notes. No, I'm missing that note entirely. Okay. All right. Um, I Both of these. Oh, though, whoa. This is back to corn whiskey almost. Both of these, though, as young as they are, here's what's impressed me across the board so far, minus the maker's mark, because you asked. I'm getting out of these glasses doesn't have a lot of the common pitfalls that a lot of super young, you know, people oh. doing stuff in their uh, home. Er. Oh, did you find one? Er. I was about to say, these no. are all really, uh, oh. not necessarily balanced because I'm getting a lot of dominant notes <clears throat> and with things like infusions, that's what often you're going to get a dominant note and that's probably what you're going for. That one came for me a little bit. It's, it's wearing your skin. Oh. But uh, I'm not getting the sharp, aggressive, spiky, hard to drink elements. Uh, everyone except the one you apparently yeah. just had. So this is a Hold this on. just tastes like a corn whiskey. I'm oh, sorry. All the ones that minus maker mark, uh, minus maker's mark, to up to this point before I've had this have been rounded off and relatively smooth. Do we know the proof on these? No, I mean I could test them. I don't think I don't know if he put it in there. Okay. We, uh, we won't know until we read the notes if he put it in the notes. Okay. <clears throat> no, that one threw you around the room a little bit. This third one. Yeah, it's just just it's it's weird because you think it's just going to be a sweet. Corn on candied whiskey. Yeah, on the nose. I'm thinking. And you taste it, and there's the something deal? in there that just goes and come and just kind of crawls out of the glass for you. It's peppery. Yeah, peppery. Yeah, but the pepper is not subtle. It's like it's like the pepper boy went a little long on the <laughs> on the pepper turning machine. <laughs> pepper boy. It was not the perfect amount of pepper. Is that a, what he writes on his occupation and the? IRS. No, that's for the your, SNL sketches. What's your career path? Don't you remember? Pepper boy. <laughs> don't you remember Chris Farley and Adam, Adam Sandler? Sandler, who's like, Pepper boy! The guy comes around and Thank you, Pepper boy! That is the perfect amount of pepper! <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> that was good. No. Um, oh, oh, dude, wait, wait, hold wait, on. Wait. I'm calling it on, wait, number, wait. on number three. Are you on number four? Hold on. Yeah, hold sorry. On. Give me a moment to live in number three. Okay. On number three, I think he infused a pepper. Because that spice that's in my mouth right now mm -hmm. it's not oh i'm not getting beat up like you no but it just it caught me off guard i was unprepared because i was thinking sweet 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 yeah F you pepper oh hey okay then that was surprising that was like a sweet if i go into it expecting the peppery note i might be okay mm. right yeah caramel sweet corn and then this wrapper of pepper it's, spice it's a lot of pepper spice though I don't know. Hopefully he put some pepper in there because we're going on and on about this spicy bit. I really want to look. Can I look? When can I look? Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. Dude, I think on four he achieved something magnificent. Uh, like for a craft guy. Yeah. Or he's f***ing with us. <laughs> because this. It's this 50-year-old McCallan. <laughs> this has none of his notes. None of the sweet corn sugar type things. Right. This is all rich, round, malt mm -hmm. notes. Yeah. Oh, and on the taste, it's flat. That's blended. I like the notes. That's a blend, that's a... I like the I'm gonna go well. on a limb and say that's a blended scotch. Because what I always find in blended, he's f***ing with us, I think. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, then well done you, because that will sell a shit ton of bottles, whatever it is. Uh, what I find in blends is the nose is always rich, round, and malty. Yeah. And you're like, yay, this is going to be great. And then you taste it, and it's flat and thin yeah. on budget blends. Okay. So think like the total wine release. I re I'm really digging the nose. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But taste it, and you'll be like, well, that's disappointing. And when that happens to me, I always know, oh, I'm probably doing a budget blend where they went for the nose, and then there's so much mixed into this, it just flattened yeah. out all of the variants. So it's not uh, leaping out of the glass rich sweetness but mm. it is definitely there and it feels like it's aiming in the direction of a space side yeah 
Yeah, it does. It's that butterscotchy. It could be a space side, or it could, but no, it's too thin. It's gotta be something with grain whiskey in it. So, you see what I mean? Yeah. It just goes Bleh. This could be, well, thin, but also not um, spiky. Not spiky anywhere in Every this whole round flavor. Off. Every round it off. That's why I said, if you made this, you're gonna sell a lot of this. I don't because know. Because that's the kind of thing that non-scotch drinkers are like, let yes. me have a scotch. Oh. And they're like, oh, I like this. Yeah, whenever their their priorities are make it sweet and tasty and don't hurt me. Yeah. Then that's it. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Are we ready? Yes, let's find out. Okay. Number one. Oh, wait, let's start with bastard whiskey is what he called this. This is essentially a vertical tasting of the second spirit I ever made. Okay. My first ever whiskey. It defectionally became known as bastard whiskey, so I... So named because I screwed up and had to add sugar to boost the original gravity. There's the sweetness. Yeah, so there's sugar in, well, it's just part of the sugar mash. Yeah. Uh, this is from the first bottle, the first one, I ever proofed down and put in a bottle. Three months old, it was a little bland and fiery. Yeah. So I put it in an unwashed Laphroaig bottle. <laughs> Really? This one? Yeah. All right, so it was a bottle, not a not a oaky thing. To me, it definitely tastes young, but seems fitting to its backstory. And he find the, he found the amount of peat that showed up in an empty glass bottle pretty impressive. I mean, I missed the peat entirely. Yeah. Did you get the peat? No. Didn't get the peat. No, I got that there was some weird thing going around it, but, but you didn't. I never identified it as peat. peat. Yeah. Uh, S2, big bog oak bastard. Bog? Or Bob. So many bastards. Six months old. Yes, oh, by the way, that's three months old. Six months old. Yeah. One of the stillet crew from Ireland sent me some old peat bog oak all the way to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, when it was six months old, I took a sample and pumped smoke from the bog oak into it. Interesting. Yeah. Then aged it for a month with the charred bog oak and finally blended it back into the original bastard whiskey. Okay. Um, still oh, aging bastard still, is this one. Yeah, the one that we said, man, there's like a peppery, a peppery spice in there. I pulled this right out of the aging container and put it in a bottle. The plan was to get to nine to 12 months, but I tried it and I, I may not make it basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's starting to get interesting all by itself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No peppers. Just peppery Dude, notes. I'm going back. Cause I think that's the one you need to follow. This one? Yeah. The four <laughs> Yeah. The fourth one is Valentine's. Valentine's? Yeah. What did we say, Scotch? That's Yeah. We said, like I said, uh, We called that here, look. <laughs> look. Yeah. It's Valentine's. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Jesse's trying to trip us up. Freaking still it. <laughs> you almost hit the gold mine, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. You <laughs> until we realized it was Valentine's. Uh, of these, I really like the thing that we were swearing there's pepper in here. Yeah, the third because one. Because of the way that it makes your mouth feel like it's springy and there's some some just some hotness that's kind of attacking the cells. The third one is not just but, the best of this. But not spiky notes that kind of yeah. you know poke the throat. and It's the best of all eight, I think. I think so. Well, this one too. The bog thing? Yeah, I like the bog thing. Uh, it's a little overly... Now, here's what would be interesting. If you got the age from this one, but right. the richness of this one, yeah. let's find out. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a thing? Dude, try the nose on that first. Mm. Too late. Too late. <laughs> the second one took over, but I'm still getting a little bit of that. Well, there was less of this. Okay, a little bit of the peppery. Yeah, I'd be interested in a blend of those two, but uh, standing alone, I like the peppery one the best. Yeah. So... We did it. Yes, I'm. I'm glad Thank there's. You, I'm glad there's stuff in there that I liked because I would have felt really bad. You know what? Still, it. Who? I was gonna put this back in there, and it? then I realized it's just fucking Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. I would feel really bad if Still, it was like just a solid member of the community. If I'm giving my opinion, is like, yeah, dude, don't quit your day job. This. Yeah. <laughs> It's not your thing. No, no, he's doing well. He's doing some really nice stuff in there. And still, it's channel. We'll link it in the description below. Mm -hmm. uh, home distilling in New Zealand, where it's not illegal. Who'd have thought you could do such a thing in a civilized country and the you sky like the, doesn't fall? You like the second one the best? Uh, they're both the second and the third. Yeah. You have the second, I have the third. Okay. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight, may fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, 
and drop a question or comment down below.